Hey everyone, it's Angus here. I just thought I'd make a video for the fun of it um, with this uh, super trail that I've been um, using a lot of quite lately. Um, all it is is basically a super trend indicator that I've changed to um, make sure it uses a percentage, which you know effectively gives me a you know I guess like a true range of what a percentage trail um, might be for the particular stock, and um, it also takes into account wicks, which some of the um, super trend indicators uh, don't take into account of yet. So anyway, the point of it is, is that I'm getting to the stage where I'm hopefully going to be able to auto trade. And so I'm just testing different indicators to try and work out which one I want to use. But the whole idea is that I'll be able to use something like um, TradingView to, uh, I guess, sort of plot my strategy. And then with these buy and sell indicators, what I'll be able to do is I'll be able to set alerts. So I'll be able to do something like, um, you know, if I right click on and go add alert on super trail and say, you know, when it gives me a buy type signal, um, then I'll send a, a webhook, um, you know, which just basically opens up a script um, that it then, you know, uses someone like Alpaca um, in order to place the actual trade. Um, Alpaca is one of the um, companies that integrates with TradingView, but you'll be able to use it with interactive brokers or anyone else. So it's just something that I'm, you know, trying to get to where I can, um, you know, nominate a whole bunch of stocks and then literally sit there and buy in and out of them. Um, as they sell so I think it could be quite fun but the point of this video is I just I just for the fun of it I you know I need to start playing with this replay service and you can see here at the moment what I did is I'm using an 18% uh, stop loss like you know what I call the super trial but it's just an 18% stop loss and the reason the way I find that is I just experiment so you can see if I click it down to 17 or 16 you can see all this stop sell stop sell you know buy sell buy sell appears on the chart and so I'm really trying to find an optimal sort of area where there's not too much volatility. And see on this particular stock, let's say it's around 18%. So I'll click OK and I've sort of set it down here, 18%. And you can see it sort of goes up, almost touches the line. So it's almost using that line as a support. Comes back up, almost touches the line, almost touches the line, but keeps sort of going up. So around that 18%, I think is around that ideal type point for just this period of time. Like I typically look back a month or two and say, based on the last month, you know, what should the trail be? Um, I, I, you know, you've got to almost ignore this March COVID period where the stock market went nuts. Um, but you know, I'm trying to, you know, almost curve fit the price chart to my super trail chart, which is just lets you know where I can put my stop loss so I can stay in the traders, you know, as long as possible. But I just thought I'd show you how it works. So it's kind of fun. So if I scroll back and I, you know, I haven't um, looked at this before, but if I scroll back and I'm still using that 18% stop loss. We'll go back to here, and so you can see this is where the stock must have first been listed just before December. Um, and if I click, um, never quite know how to do this, but I think if I click on this and I go bar replay and I click here and I click play, maybe. Yep. So here you go. So if I had an 18% stop loss from the very first time that this stock started trading you'll be able to see how the super trial works so as the price moves up stop loss will move up and so you can set this with your um, um, you know broker you know most brokers will support a trailing sell um, or some sort of a trailing stop loss so I use interactive brokers primarily and all I do is an interactive brokers I would have bought this stock and I would have typed in that I want to have an 18% stop loss um, so the whole idea is that if the stock breaks that 18 percent um then you know the stock sells and then when the um indicator gives me another buy signal and the, the reality of that is that the stock's just got to go back up 18 percent um then it'll you know which sort of resumes its trend from where it left off um then it will you know tell me to go and buy it again and again i can just set an alert to say that so you can see here that's the first sort of breakdown so it's said sell here and even though it tried to recover a little bit you know, it's quite interesting to see that now it's almost using this as resistance. So it's broken, you know, it's tried to go back up, broke down, try to go back up. It's now giving me another buy signal. I want to see if I can speed this up a bit. Oh, too fast. And so you can see through there, you know, it's sold it down. You know, here it's come back up that 18%. Sometimes what I'll do is whatever the, whatever the super trail is, if it's 18%, I'll buy back in at around 9%. Um, and so then it would have come up here. 
Um, that was a big drop down there. Don't know why, you know, not sure what happened then. Again, it's rebought, and you can sort of see, as I said, it's just following along nicely and kind of almost becoming support and resistance for the particular stock. So we're up to December. Um, you know, it looks like it's quite wide there. You know, there's, there's sort of, you know, it probably doesn't need to be that wide, but it just depends on how long you want to hold the stocks. Like if I'm looking at holding a stock for, I don't know, one to two months, then I might use the last one to two months, you know, in terms of a trading range. Um, you can see it didn't get stopped out there on that big long candle down there, which is good. Um, it's still following along. You can see the um, trail never goes down as well. That's the thing. You know, the whole idea is that the stop loss is always moving up. You know, it never sort of goes down. So here, you know, we've had a big sell-off. It's obviously recovered, going back up again. Well, that was that big, you know, COVID March dip. And so it almost hit the um, the uh, stop loss again there. You know, that was that, you know, last little sort of period of volatility, heading back up. Almost got nailed again. Almost got nailed again. Heading back up. Now the stock's trading in a bit of a channel there. That would have been a good swing trade area. But, um, you know, my style is just to buy something and, you know, ride the trend until it ends. And so that's kind of cool. So I said, I just thought I'd share that little animation. I don't know, you could pick something else at random. I don't know. This one's a weird one, Tractor Supply Company. So you can see that it's in a nice upward trend here. Um, the trail on that one at 18% looks like it's too wide. So what I want to do is I just want to try and reduce it until it starts getting too many buy and sell type signals. So you've got a couple of buy sell signals there. So if I make it 14%, so you can see it's got a red signal along there. So 14% to me looks pretty good. So I'll just say, um, uh, I'll say in my description, 14% trail, just so we know that's what it is. You can see a 14% is up here. So we'll do the same thing. We'll go right to the start of it. Well, I don't know how far this stock goes back. We'll go to the start of, I don't know. 2019 somewhere here and so pretend that I bought the stock around here you know let's say I bought it here on earnings and so again we'll try and do this if I click that and I say let's start from there on earnings uh, I've got no idea there we go so it's saying if I bought it around 2019 around that earnings period and it's a 14% trail we'll see how well it tracks to the stock it looks like 14% back here was too wide. So, you know, this, you know, if I'd bought it here, maybe a 12% trail, you know, or, or less could have been better, but we'll just see how 14% goes. Because 14% is what I need at the most recent time period to keep in the trail without too much volatility. And we'll just see what happens as it goes through. Again, just for fun, I just like seeing the animation and seeing how the stock goes up and down. Again, it definitely looks too wide here. I'm sure I could have had this much narrower. That's why, you know, when I set these things, you know, when I set the trail, I sort of only look back at the last, you know, maybe one to two to maybe in three months just to, you know, keep the trail as narrow as I can. But, you know, since we've had this COVID thing in March, you know, the stock market's been all over the place. But you can see that if you're trading in 2019, you know, it's quite a, quite a good time period to be trading. You know, the stock market was much less volatile. That was a big dip down there. Oh, that's our first sell. Yeah, so it tried to recover, but it didn't. So it's quite a good signal. Like, you know, you wouldn't want to have bought back in and, you know, lost all that. So I'm quite happy that that's worked the way it's worked. So again, I probably would have bought, you know, around here, I might have bought when it went up 7%. You know, I so said I tend to just do this thing where, you know, once it goes up roughly halfway or whatever the trail is, then I might rebuy. But, you know, on, on my side of things, that could have been a mistake. Maybe I should just listen to the super trail and let it do its thing. 
to this whole period here, you know, you wouldn't want to have held this stop. It's just moving sideways. What's that October through to February almost? So it's a, it's a long period of time for the stock not to do much. You know, if you bought it here and had it there, you would have made no money over that you know, four or five month period. It's getting worse. It's getting worse. So that was March. That was COVID. So again, the super trials worked quite well. Like you wouldn't want to have held it anywhere through that period there. You wouldn't have made money for, you know, six months. But here you can start to see the recovery. So that's sent a buy signal here. Again, it looks like it's possibly too wide, but you know, when we did it, it was just to try and eliminate that volatility through there. And 14% is not a bad volatility. You know, some stocks are up around, you know, 20, 25%, you know, trailing stops to keep them. But you can see, you know, this little thing here tells you how much the stock's up. So it's up roughly you know, 61% for that, you know, period there. If I take it from the March low where I bought it, you know, it's up 111%. So I said, I just thought I'd share that video. Um, all this is is a super trend indicator. So if you want to play with something similar, go and look for a super trend on TradingView. Um, you know, it's a very, very similar indicator. Um, I just have it using percentages so that I can put the percentage straight into um, um, interactive brokers who I trade with. And as I said, it's interesting. But, you know, with this particular stock, if I was buying this one right now, or not, not buying it right now, but if I, you know, had it for this period of here, let's just see what we could get it down to. Because this was just a horrible, you know, volatile period. You know, everything was going up and down overnight. So that's a pretty tight stop. So you can see, you know, to keep you in this trade, you only probably need about a 10% um trailing sell which makes it quite interesting and if we look back on at 10 percent, i won't replay it but you can sort of see that it would have you know sold you here got you out got you back in you know, there's a few sort of erroneous signals but again from where we bought it you know let's say from if we bought at the top of that candle and sold at the bottom of that candle you know it's not it's not bad like it you know lets you, you know, sort of follow these trades for a bit um and it works on any, it works on any time frame as well you can drop down to an hour you can drop down to 15 minutes um, below that, you know, like it's it's um it's it's still quite effective, you know, five minute candle. And it's obviously just the same same value trails, and it just depends what time period you're trading. If you're day trading, you might have a you know a much much smaller um, stop. So it's at 10 percent now, ten dollars day trading, you know, three percent. So something like 5% almost if I'm day trading keeps me in the trade for, you know, that, that day. Um, you know, whether you want to have that much risk or not, depends how you trade. Anyway, the video is obviously, again, as always, longer than what I meant it to be. But I just thought I'd show you the video instead. I, I just thought it was um, kind of interesting, a bit of fun. So let's get back up to 14. And so you can see, you know, that's not a bad stock. It's trending nicely at the moment. It's a bit flat through the top. RSI says there could be a little bit of value in it. You know, the um, volume sort of, you know, pretty average. That's a 20-day moving, 14-day uh, volume moving average, that red line. So that's just sort of saying that, you know, volume's not doing anything exciting, but the stock has certainly been nice and steady through that period. It's past earnings, which is always a good thing. So it spiked up on earnings. It came back because of the volatility over the few last few days with the market going a bit stupid. You know, this is when Russia announced that they might have had a, a COVID fix, and then you know immediately afterwards, you know the um, um, you know political parties in um, the US decided that you know they were nominating some of the you know vice president, you know the candidates, and you know for vice president, so that sent the market a little bit down. And um, again, we're hopefully going to keep going back up, but time will tell.